Hey y'all, so I am back. I know y'all been waiting on this video for such a long time now, and I am so sorry that it's been taking me so long to get back. But I have been through so much stuff since the last video, and I've been meaning to upload. I make part of the video, then delete, and make part of the video, then delete it, so I never really get to the actual video. This is the part two. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Okay, so this is the part two of why I regret my BBL. Kind of like the questions and answers type thing. And like, what's been going on? What's happened with my doctor? Why haven't I gotten my surgery? Because no, I haven't gotten my surgery yet. Which sucks so bad. But, um, yeah. I'm going to get right into it. And I'm going to let y'all know everything that's been going on. Why I haven't got my surgery. Why I have to switch doctors. Just everything that's been going on in my life. So, if y'all want to know everything that's been going on, just stay tuned. And I'm about to get into the video so y'all can get all of the tea and know everything that's been happening. Okay, so, right now, we're going to get into why I haven't gotten my surgery yet and what's been happening since the last video. So, since the last video, um, I actually thought I knew what doctor I was going to go to. And I did, but when I contacted that doctor, my BMI was too high. Because like I told y'all before, I had ended up gaining the weight and stuff. And I had ended up going through a life-changing situation or whatever. So, it was really stressful for me at the time. So, it was hard for me to, like, get my BMI down because I was still eating. Even though I was stressing, I'm a stress eater, so I was eating, eating. So, my weight wasn't where it should have been. So, I had to end up canceling that surgery. So... My sister, who was going to pay for my surgery or whatever, um, she ended up going through some stuff as well in her life or whatever. So, um, I didn't really want to put that much pressure on her as far as, like, having to pay for an $8,000 surgery or whatever. So, I told her that it was okay. So, she tried to do care credit because she was going to pay for it in cash. And she wasn't able to do it. So, um, I'm like, okay, whatever. So, I was already stressed about everything else that I was going through in my life or whatever. So, I just I just, I just put it on hold. Like, I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm going to just wait. I just put it on hold or whatever. I end up having I end up moving out. Um, having to find me a place to move to really quickly, really rapidly or whatever. So, it was like a really, it was like a roller coaster. You know what I'm saying? In my life or whatever. So, um... Fast forwarding, because I don't want this video to be 13,000 hours long. Um, fast forwarding, I um, I end up hearing about Mia Aesthetics. Now, I was seeing Mia Aesthetics a lot, like on Facebook and stuff like that. Like, I was seeing them, you know, their prices was good and everything like that. So, um, I'm a hairstylist or whatever. And... I was going to pay for it out of my pocket now, so I was going to end up paying on it or whatever. So, like I told you, I had went through some stuff or whatever in my life, which required me to have to get a job. And this is just me being real with y'all. So, I had to end up getting a job. So, I ended up getting a job, a really good job, really great career choice. Um, it's not coming in between nothing that I got going on as far as my hair, my selling hair, nothing like that. It's really flexible. It's really understanding. Um, but... Anyway, I'm having to get to get a job. So with me having to hear about me aesthetics or whatever, um, I'm like, okay, that's a cool, you know, I'm like, damn, that's cool. You know, they, they practice good. I was looking at their doctors and their reviews and stuff like that. They had a couple bad reviews, but honestly, like what place don't have bad reviews? So saying I have to say, I end up saying, okay, I'm gonna go to me aesthetics or whatever. So I had to get my BMI down, like just two. I was, my they had my BMI had to be at a, um, a 32 and my BMI was at a 34 so um, when I talked to the doctor or whatever to the, cons to the consultant who was doing my consultation or whatever I was letting her know like you know well I want to get my um get my butt reduced you know and everything like that or whatever so she's like okay cool so I was telling her like I want a significant amount of my butt reduced but this lady that he's telling me trying to tell me like what I should get she like well you should get um just get like, it's still like a BBL. You're just going to get the um, fat taken out your butt, but then put back in and, and shake the right way. So I'm like, no, that's not what I want. So me being all excited or whatever, like not really thinking too much into it, I end up putting my deposit down. Boom, put my deposit down. This is just probably like a few months ago. I put my deposit down or whatever. And um, 
after holding the deposit down, as time started progressing and stuff like that, like I started looking at other reviews, like what I should have been doing in the first place, but I didn't. So I had started looking at other reviews. So I'm like, okay, so I'm seeing this review, that review, this review, that review. So I'm like, okay. So I went, I stumbled across, um, Dr. Miami was doing a surgery and what he did was took the fat out the girl butt and out her back and kind of like gave her like a back lift. So like her back and her butt was like a lamb, but it's like her butt was high. Like it, lift her butt so i'm like, okay this is exactly what i want because i'm like if they take this fat out my butt my butt is going to still sag i'm like i don't want my butt to sag like i don't want it so like i want it to have a nice perky butt, like a small little butt or whatever i'm not gonna lie to you i definitely want a small butt so um so i end up calling them or whatever asking my well can i change my surgery or whatever like even though i'm like okay i know i'm aware that i have to pay extra or whatever because i want a different surgery or whatever i'm like and then because i already had a, um i already had a tummy tuck so me already having a tummy tuck or whatever i'm like okay well because i have loose skin at the bottom of my tummy tuck because when i first got my tummy tuck it, i got my tummy tuck in 2016 i believe I think, but I got my tummy tuck like a while ago. That was the first surgery I ever got. So with me losing weight and everything like that, it caused my skin to stretch. I mean, to loosen up or whatever, which get, which get, which is giving me loose skin. So, um, so with me having loose skin or whatever, I'm like, okay, well maybe I can do like a revision on my tummy tuck and then do me a back lift. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I tell her that's what I want. Me aesthetics take so long to get back to you. It's crazy. Like, I was calling and emailing, calling and emailing. And I was getting in contact with a lady or whatever. Like, she wasn't giving me the answers that I needed, the answers that I wanted. So, um... So it kind of like, it made me mad, you know, because I'm like, okay, I'm trying to get this done. I'm trying to, I, I was even trying to pay more. I was even trying to like pay on it or whatever. I could not get through to the people. So I'm not trying to give them a bad review or nothing like that. But from my experience working with me aesthetics, I feel like their customer service could be better. Their awareness could be better. Their promptness with calling you back could be better. Their responses could definitely be quicker. That is all that that's my experience with them. I don't know nobody else that had experience with them, but that's my experience with them. So I end up forfeiting my um my deposit because they wasn't getting back to me. My surgery date got closer and closer. Then this pandemic, which I'm in Chicago, obviously, this pandemic um came so quickly or whatever. So it caused my surgery to get pushed back even even more because actually my surgery date was for March 10th. Let me see. I got my computer here because I'm going to be doing my question and answers too. Um, my surgery, yeah, my surgery was for March 10th. I was going to leave and go to Miami on the 7th, which was that Saturday of March, so I could have my consultation, you know, and get everything situated or whatever. So, yeah, didn't happen. So, now, my new update is I've been losing weight. I've been doing the um, ISO T. I don't got one in front of me. I don't really want to get up and move. But I've been doing the ISO T, the, CBT, the CBDT. I've been doing the resolution drops, um, which is recommended to me. And it, it has been working a lot or whatever. I, I definitely see a difference in me or whatever. Um, I'm going to... Um, I think I got some before and after pictures, like when I had gained some weight and when I had started losing or whatever. I'm going to probably post like a couple of those or whatever. Um, so, what was that? Okay, boom. So, I've been taking the um, CBT and the resolution drops or whatever. So, I net, so I received um, an email from Seduction, which is also in Miami. Um, I've heard of them. I heard they got really good doctors. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think Dr. Doback is there. But Dr. Doback isn't going to be the doctor that is performing the procedure on me. I already sent them my pictures. I already got my consultation. I already got my price and everything like that. So I'm making my deposit next week. Um, so what I'm getting now is a revision tummy tuck. Um, which is going to be from Saturday to Saturday. Again, they're going to be taking off the loose skin. Um, if anybody ever had a revision tummy tuck or know somebody, please comment below. Let me know how it went. Let me know how they like it. And I'm also be going and I'm also going to get my butt removed. So what they're going to do is, as what was explained to me, they're going to open my butt up. Basically, like boom, you got the big booty. 
They're going to cut around my butt. They're going to take that fat out like they're doing a tummy tuck. They're going to cut that fat out, uh, shape it. They're going to take that extra skin, lift that skin up. The back from my back that they cut, they're going to take that skin and pull my back down. And they're going to make it across. So from what I think, I think it's going to kind of be like, I'm probably going to have a scar all the way around my waist because it's kind of like a tummy tuck with the back thing like it's gonna be like all the way around um my waist which i'm super nervous about because i remember when i had my tummy tuck i was bent over this way so if i'm so i'm guessing if i get my back lifted am i gonna be like back so it's like hey that's gonna work if i'm bigger i'm just nervous talk talking myself into another stress uh situation so um yeah, that's what I said. I'm still having my surgery, y'all. I'm so sorry that it took me so long to get back to y'all. It was just a lot that was going on. And another thing that I want to say, like, I never in a million years would have thought my video of why I regret my BBL would have hit over almost 800,000 views. Like, that's crazy. And almost 13,000, like, oh, almost 14,000 subscribers. Y'all, when I first did this video, being 100% honest, I just did it because so many people was asking me about it. And I just wanted to I just get my story out there or whatever because there were so many stories about me that people thought that they knew. So I'm like, okay, whatever, I'm just do the video. You know, nothing major. Not never thinking it's going to get nowhere near as much publicity <laughs> as it did. But it did. And I'm totally grateful for it. Now, I'm going to get into some of these and question and answers, honey. So, let me tell y'all this before I get into this, baby. And so many rude people out here like, these, these motherfucking people on here is rude as hell. I got a lot of people that is very supportive and, you know, have a lot of um positive feedback. A lot of stories, you know, that kind of like coincide with what I have going on or whatever. But, honey, child. It's a lot of rude people in here. So let me get in to some of these um into some of these questions, okay? So the um my questions. One of my questions, one of them asked me, um, how old am I? I am now 33. When I first made my video, which was in June, I was 32. My birthday is in September. I'm a Libra. Whoop whoop. Okay. Um I got people in here that's also telling me a lot about their stories that they had big butt problems for a long time as well. Um another question was <laughs> this girl said, uh little booties matter. <laughs> But thank me for sharing my story and having a new subscriber. Thank you so much, girl. Um, so another one of my questions was, why didn't I tell my doctor the truth? So at that time, I was super thirsty for a big butt because I was seeing all my favorite celebrities had big old booties. And I wanted a big old butt and I thought I looked better in my clothes. So when I first got my butt, instead of me thinking, well, instead of me just being patient, waiting on this to grow. I wanted a bigger butt, and then I had the money for it. So, I just told my doctor, okay, well, I want to get a BBL. He asked, and I should have told him the truth. I should have. I know that. I know that. But I didn't. It's no specific reason as to why, besides I thought that he probably wouldn't do it because I was so new on my surgery. So, that's why I laughed. It's messed up. Don't lie to y'all doctors, okay? Um... Another one was, why don't you think you're beautiful? God made everyone to believe that they are beautiful. He made everyone how he would want them to be made. That sounds like insecurities to me. So I've been getting a lot of them saying I was insecure. Sus, a bruh, whoever you is. I'm not nowhere near insecure, like nowhere near insecure. It only sucks because my fucking ass is huge. And I just don't like my butt. That doesn't make me insecure. Like, and let's be 100% real. I feel personally if 
a woman has insecurities about herself, whether she has, whether her butt is misshaped, whether her stomach is big after her having kids, whatever her breast is small. If you have the money to do it, I honestly believe you would do it. Like, let's just be 100% real. And if you don't, kudos to you. Heads off to you. Only thing I regret about any surgery I've had, and I've had a tummy tuck, and I've also had two BBLs, is the butt. I love my lipo. I love my tummy tuck. I would not change them. Only thing I would change is this big fucking booty on my back. Okay. Um. Let me see. Um. Another person said, "Why don't I just go to the gym? Why didn't I just go to the gym to get the results that I was looking for?" So I'm gonna say this again. In my own opinion, I don't feel like going to the gym. Give you that butt that you want. Let's be real. If your butt is as flat as a pancake, there's no way that you can go to the gym and make your booty big. You can make your booty sit up. You can make your booty firm. You cannot make your booty big. Booty comes from fat. Okay? If you already have a nice little booty or whatever, you work your booty out, do your squats, do your leg lift, do your all that other stuff you do, cool. That's going to make your booty lift up, and that's going to make your booty, you know, kind of like probably spread a little bit for true. I don't know. I didn't try it, but that's what I get from it. Um, also, going to the gym, you can go to the gym and slim down how you want, but the hourglass figure that I was going for that I wanted, um, you cannot get an hourglass figure to me. From working from going to the gym if i'm wrong please let me know in my comments below but i've seen people lose a lot of weight i've seen people look absolutely amazing from losing weight and going to the gym but um yeah getting that super hourglass figure no i haven't seen that um and everybody asks me <laughs> what my sister do for a living um she is definitely in corporate america i don't really want to disclose her um occupation but um she do make a nice nice little penny um but yeah she she is very successful whatever um but she's she's a regular person just the just like the rest of us no she's not rich y'all and no she's not looking for another sister or brother or whatever but you know what i'm saying we can't adopt you know so if you want to become you know a part of the, the johnson girls come on come on baby come on um let's see what else I got a lot of people love how transparent I am and how raw I am with it. I am. I'm regular. Um, I I got a lot of judgment, like from people that I know that that's around me. I got a lot of judgment. Um, a lot of people think I'm stuck up. A lot of people think I'm a B I T C H, but I'm not. You get to know me. I'm goofy as hell. Um, I'm not always this made up supermodel girl um i'm regular just like everybody else honey but yeah i try to be as real as i can i'm not a fake person um people can think whatever they want to think but i'm not fake at all um i'm very open i love meeting new people i love having conversations i love people being able to intrigue me with their conversations so you know i i, I love that talk to me talk to me don't shy away from me because i'm not like that um Let's see. I'm just start reading some of the comments, y'all, because I didn't write none of them. I didn't write really none of the questions to end, none of the questions down. So, um, I don't really want to disclose y'all names or whatever. So I'm just gonna read it. Y'all hear it? Um, you know, just you know, let me know that I said your message. But I got a lot of them, so I'm not really gonna say that many. Um. A lot of people was feeling sorry for me or whatever. And I don't want y'all to feel sorry for me because I wasn't looking for the sympathy. The only reason I cried was because, like, it's a real sensitive subject to me. And I never really got a chance to tell nobody about it because people already instantly just judged me from it. Like, oh, boy, shorty got a big booty. She's a stereotype. You know what I'm saying? She's that girl. You know, she's that stuck-up girl. Let me not say nothing to her. You know, whatever. So, I'm already stereotyped. Like, already. Now, I, I never got nothing done to my face. I never got nothing done to my boobs. I never got nothing done. My boobs, super tiny. Little as hell. I wish I had some big old cities. But, sis, I don't. So, I'm embracing them. It is what it is. Um... But this girl, she said, I'm so sorry you're going through this. Please ditch those friends. You are beautiful and blessed. Thank you so much. 
I really appreciate that. And I did ditch those friends. Just so y'all know, them fake ass bitches who was supposed to be my friend, but I always got something to say with me and her when me and them wasn't friends anymore. Sorry, y'all. I hope ain't no kids watching this, but fuck y'all. They been gone, though. Just, you know, just letting y'all know. Um... Another young lady that you live and you learn, pretty girl. That's what life is all about, sending loves and blessings. Thank you so much, boo. I really appreciate that. Now, look, let me tell y'all something. Let me go down. I'm going to go down to some of these other. Y'all, it is some nasty, mean-ass people on here. So mean. Like, straight up. Uh. Let me see. Uh, oh, another young lady. She said this seven months ago. I thought I was the only one feeling that about my BBL. And I'm also thinking of getting my butt redux reduced. I hate the attention. I don't want to go out. People constantly staring at me. All the unnecessary attention. I can't deal with it. I regret it so bad. Um. So, yes. The unnecessary attention sucks ass. Like, I hate it so bad. Um, I hate it. Let me see. Everybody makes bad decisions. Be happy with what God gave you and twerk that thing. <laughs> that sounds like one of my best friends. She was like, girl, twerk. You know, they love my booty. Now, my friend, my real friends, they love my booty. And I love them for loving it. They always try to make me feel good. My sister, my friends, my real friends, I love y'all so much. Shout out. Y'all know who y'all is. <laughs> um... Okay, we got some sisters on here that saying, baby, they still get their stuff done. Go ahead, sis. Get your shit done, baby. Just don't go overboard. Just don't go overboard. Just stay, like, if you're not a performer, if you're not, like, a model that's, like, modeling your booty and got to have a big-ass booty, like, just bring it there, like, a couple notches, okay? And a lot of people don't understand I look like Oprah. Do I look like Oprah? <laughs> I'm not saying Oprah ugly or nothing like that, but like, y'all don't like Oprah. Don't like Oprah. Let me know some, y'all, because Oprah, I don't know. Never heard that before. But it is what it is. She's in her bag. I love it. I can look like her all motherfucking day, baby. Just give me the same kind of money as her. I'll be a twin, period. Um... A couple months ago, somebody asked me, Kelly, where have you been? I hope all is doing. I hope I'm doing well. Yes, I'm doing well, as you can see. Um, <laughs> this, actually, this lady said, oh, "I got distracted with your road in the video. Love how you take the back streets to get where you're going. Love how real you are in this video as well. Beautiful soul. Thank you so much. Thank you." Um, but yeah, okay, so I'm not gonna really get into all of these. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna split this video up because it's a lot. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the comments. So when y'all look at this video, if there's anything y'all want to know, anything, got any questions y'all got, let me know in the comment section below. Also, follow me on Facebook. I'm going to put my Facebook name in one of these corners and also my instagram name in one of these corners and also my snapchat name in one of these corners so y'all can like comment and subscribe do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i got so much more in store for y'all it's not just only about the bbl but i will be taking y'all on my journey from the time I make my new deposit to seduction, which I'm very excited about, to my consultation, to me getting on the planes, all the way up to me laying on the table, sis, okay? So, if y'all have any questions, any comments, any concerns, just anything, anything y'all want to know, write it in the comment section below. Follow me on all my social media platforms. And I will be back with more videos for you ladies just talking to y'all just coming back to y'all anything y'all want to know just let me know and i'll be so happy to answer those questions for y'all but in the meantime please stay safe in this quarantine please try not to go outside i know that it's hard it's hard because it's hard for me i'm a shopper and me not going to my stores honey is killing 
me, okay? Killing me. Take a rope, put it around my neck, and hang me, okay? That's how bad it is. It's killing me. But just try, y'all. Try to turn up in the house with whoever y'all in the house with. Try not to be more than 10 people. Let's get this lifted. Let's not be on punishment for no longer than we have to be, okay? Let's work together and let's get this done. Once again, thank you for watching my video. You know what I'm going to say? Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will be back with way more videos for y'all. Just talking, just random talk. I got so much to say because we're in this quarantine and I need all my people to come on here and talk to me. So it's like, give me something. But thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you a million times and a million times more. Y'all have a great one. And tomorrow, this is Saturday, so tomorrow's Easter. Happy Easter.